think the Dutch vision has always been very much of a union of member states uh, in which member states commit to what has been agreed within the, uh, the union and within the eurozone uh, and in which markets uh, are fully used to further develop our economies. Very strong emphasis on uh, member states sticking to what is uh, agreed and doing their part of becoming more competitive and uh, using the markets that we've developed. I think the Dutch policy priorities were, uh, are to develop uh, the internal markets uh, deeper, for example the service markets or uh, the uh, digital uh, markets for Europe. I think there's a huge economic potential there. And second, of course, we need to become much more competitive as a Eurozone, becoming more robust and preparing for possible future economic shocks. The natural alliances for the Netherlands are always the smaller member states and particularly those who are very much trade oriented uh, and Ireland is of course uh, an obvious example. We're both open economies in smaller countries, uh, Atlantically, uh, Atlantic orientation um, and that's why we work together on many topics. Well, the different proposals on the future of the monetary union are still being debated. Uh, some are controversial, some are more, uh, I see more convergence of ideas. For example, I think we do need a stabilization tool to support those countries that are in an uh, economic adverse situation. That could be developed within the ESM, the stability mechanism for the Eurozone. That could be developed further into what we call a European monetary fund. And another instrument, I think, should be within the EU budget available for all member states to help all member states to converge uh, towards a higher economic uh, level of development. And that convergence is crucial for economic and political stability, uh, certainly for the Eurozone, but also the EU.